You want a piece of me? Raj? Yes? Let's get on with the video. Fine. <laughs> Hello, my name is Raj. Today we're going to be playing with these little guys doing some toy photography. This one's Sandra and this one's James. Isn't Sandra fabulous in a feather cape? And we're going to blow them up. And we're going to blow them up, set them on fire and uh, generally abuse them, actually. Toy photography looks really cool. It allows you to get epic shots on a really tight budget on a really small scale. For this shoot, you will need a number of different figurines. We got Star Wars toys, you can choose whatever you like. Some heavy duty garden wire and an air pressure gun, the sort you unblock toilets with. Lovely. So sparklers, those big sort of sparky fountain things you put on birthday cakes, and lighter fluid. You also need smoke bombs or a smoke machine. I recommend a smoke machine because they smell less, they last longer, and you can pick them up for about 30 pounds on Amazon. Uh, you may also need some soil, some flour, whatever you need to build out your scene. Now over to me for a safety announcement. Quick safety announcement before we start. We're gonna be living this video up a little bit with fire and sparklers. So if you're under 18, please get adult supervision. And if you are an adult, please don't leave idiots unattended for very long. You could use the environment around you, but we chose to make our own little scene. To make our scene, we chose a shaded area, added some wood planks on the floor, put some soil on top, added some moss, put some rocks in the back, and to make it look a little bit boggy, we added some water. It's easier in a shaded area because you can control the lighting more. We then placed our figures where we wanted them for a good composition. Keeping your figures standing is the most difficult part and it requires an insane amount of patience. What you want to do is bend one end of a wire around the figure's foot and then curl the rest underneath to create a base for the figure to stand on. To make them look more natural, put them in a mid-action pose. So if they're running, put a leg up in the air in front of them. If they're kneeling, put a shield in front of them and tilt their head so they're sort of pointing towards the action. Don't make them look static. Getting that perfect pose is very tricky, so you have to have a lot of patience. Don't throw the figure against the wall, like I did, repeatedly. Try to hide the wire as best you can, it will reduce your work in post. For example, we just covered ours in soil. To make the figures look realistic, we got a flame and burnt the plastic slightly. This looked like a shot had just bounced off their helmets. We also covered them in mud and scratched them a little bit to weather them. What makes the best shot and makes these figures look less static is action happening around them. So snow floating down on them, explosions going off, smoke in the background, all sorts. To get flying debris, we used the air gun and fired mud up in the air. This will make it look like an explosion is going off right by your character. To add more depth, we also use smoke. It also helps to disguise the backdrop. And sparks flying at our characters. This looks like bullets hitting them or explosions happening just off the screen. You want to get your sparks flying off the figures, so position your sparklers just, just outside of the camera. For the flames, we just use a piece of wood, poured a little bit of lighter fluid on it and set it alight. We also got some dead leaves and surrounded the characters to make them look like it was engulfed in flames. Make sure you always have water on standby. In case anything goes wrong. In case anything goes wrong. Thankfully it didn't today. Overall, remember to be safe and keep water nearby. For the camera settings, we had a high shutter speed over a thousandth of a second and an aperture around 3.2. We then moved the camera to their level so that we had their perspective. You also want a high frame rate to capture every shot of the action. It's a bit of a lucky dip, so you're gonna need lots of shots. We also experimented with flour to imitate snow. To make this scene, we got a white backdrop and placed it at a distance to make it look really out of focus. We then covered our plank with flour Place some rocks in the scene and sprinkle some flour on top so it looked like it had been snowing. We then placed our figure in the coolest position we could think of. To make it look like it was snowing, we used a sieve to sprinkle flour on top. Be gentle with the flour, you don't want to overpower the image. It's also a good idea to sift the flour really high. Again, we used smoke to fill the back a little bit. This wasn't to imitate a fire, but more a cloud and a blizzard. To add to the scene, we also added another figurine just to give some depth to the image. To make it look like he died a long time ago, we covered him in lots of flour. Be really careful about using anything with fire around the flour. It can genuinely make a big explosion, 
and be very expensive. For lighting, experiment with reflectors, but usually outdoor lighting is enough. You can also use little LED lights. Again, to capture the snow, we had a really high shutter speed. And that's it. That's how we created some big scale shots with just some small toys. Experiment with different scenes, but don't lose hope. It can take a long time to get the right shot. But when you do get it and you nail it, it's the greatest feeling. Experiment with different angles from below, from above. Oh, you could do one through Perspex from below. That would look amazing. It might look amazing, but it might look shit. Who knows? You'll have to find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you do create your own toy story, use the hashtag on the screen now. And feel free to check out our other videos. And I will kill you. Die, 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 die. Explosion. Big explosion. Have you seen my first <coughs> Wait, 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 we can have a little snowflake. Snowflake. <laughs> <laughs>